this is Chris Gould of Geeks on Tour, and this show and video is about using Google My Maps and importing a POI data set. POI stands for Points of Interest. First, you need to be able to find and get a POI data set. There are several sources for them, but I am using a website called POIFactory.com. You do need to create an account. It's free. And then I searched. I used their search field to get Passport America. That's a discount campground membership system that we belong to, and I want to get all of those parks into my map. So you click on download the CSV because I'm not using a TomTom Tom GPS device. I want, I want just a text file, which is CSV. And an Excel program can open a CSV file. So let's go take a look at it. So I've opened Excel and I need to go find the spreadsheet, the CSV file that I downloaded. And notice over here you have to make sure that instead of Excel files you're looking for text files and there it is POI Factory Passport America and here's what it looks like the first two columns are the latitude and longitude or vice versa and we'll deal with that and then the name of the park and the address and phone number I'm going to start by using the same custom map the same my map that we used in the previous lesson, the one called Chris's Florida, and there are the the markers that came in from our spreadsheet on RV parks in Florida. And notice there is no place now that says import. That's because it's a new layer. It needs to be a new layer. So you click on add layer. Now you see the import link and select a file from your computer. I need to know where it is and what I called it. I started it with POI Factory and Passport America. All right, now it needs to know which columns include the data for locating it. Well, we need, we need those first two columns, but then you need to specify which it is. Is it latitude or is it longitude? And I'm not sure, so I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to say the first one looks like latitude to me, and the second one looks like longitude. And if that's wrong, it'll be obvious, and we can fix it. <laughs> and continue, and then what column is the title of the park? It's that one. And I obviously did the latitude and longitude wrong, because I don't think these RV parks are in Antarctica. So what you do is you delete that layer, the three dots next to the layer name, and delete this layer, and delete it. Now we'd have to try that again. Add layer, and import. Find the file. and see if I can remember which way I did it last time. Now, I said that looked like a latitude, so that was obviously wrong. That must be longitude. <laughs> and continue. And the name of the park. And finish. And that looks better. <laughs> They're all in the United States. Okay. Now, one more issue, though. I can't tell the difference between the markers that were for the parks that I imported from my Florida list or the Passport America. So I want the icon for the Passport America to be different. Now I can go in here. If you hover your mouse over where it says all items and you see this little paint bucket, click on that and you'll get your options. Now if it's okay with you, you can just change the shape and change the color but I would like it to actually be the icon that represents Passport America. And to do that, I need to click on More Icons. And I want a custom icon. So here where Add an Icon, you need a URL for the actual icon. Well, back on the POI factory, here is the icon. 
and all I need I could either download that and then it, but it has to be on the web somewhere so I'm just gonna do a shortcut right click on the icon and copy the image URL the address on the web paste that into the place for the special icon click add icon and OK. Now you see that all of the data points that are Passport America have a little Passport America logo and the ones that I had entered before still have the straight red marker. Notice also what if I don't I don't want to see them right now. I can just uncheck this little box over on the layer and all the Passport America parks go away. Anytime I want to see them, just check the box again. And that is how you import a data set, a POI set, into your custom map.